Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. If you have not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. For today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to dispute an order from AliExpress. Disputing means you want your money back. You want a refund because the product you received is not what was described or maybe you don't like it or it's broken or you ordered the wrong item so i'm just gonna pretend this is not the second video i am filming i had filmed before and apparently i wasn't screen recording so we'll just go through the process again but i have already done the dispute process anyway how are you guys how are you guys doing so now <laughs> i have entered aliexpress I'm going to dispute for an item that is still being shipped, though I will not confirm. So when you enter AliExpress, you will go to AliExpress and account. This video will be easier for you to understand if you go and watch the video in the description box of how I order and ship from AliExpress. But I have explained everything that you need to know about the AliExpress and the app, so it will be easier for you to like work through what I'm saying. So you go to the accounts. Then you go under my orders, you go under shipped. So I will dispute for this success ball because the items that I was disputing before were these necklaces. And as you can see, because it's saying request in process, request in process on the right hand side, it means I have already disputed. So I'm going to dispute this ball, but I won't confirm it. If you want to dispute the first thing you do, you go to your account area, then you go to my orders under shipped. You select the item that you want to dispute. For me, in this case, it will be the success ball. On the right, it says refund or return. On the left, it says add to cart. I will press refund, so return. So after you select, now from here, you will just basically be selecting what fits you. So for delivery status, so first, let's say, item received in part or in whole. So maybe you are, your item that was received was broken, so that is in part. Or maybe it was okay, so that was whole. Most likely, you choose item received in whole. If you have ordered, if what you ordered is not what you received, but it's your fault. Because you ordered the wrong description of the item. So the next, you select the result from the list below. So why do you want your item returned? So you select what you want. So I'm going to select items damaged because that is the most common case. So item arrived already damaged. I select that. Then the next one is select your application type. In my previous video, I was telling you guys to go for the refund only in most cases because the refund and return you need to ship the item back to the seller and it's a whole process because you need to look for a shipping company because pdf the company that ships to kenya does not return items however if you you are to refund to, sorry to return an item to the seller and it is the seller's mistake the seller will cater for shipping so you need to communicate with the seller on how that goes once the item has reached the seller, that is when you will receive your refund. So after that, I press refund only. I was supposed to select refund only. Let me change. Refund only. So I the refund amount always select the maximum amount you are given. Because here I'm given $0.01. To 1.65 sometimes it may be more than what you like you see your order maybe it was like for me my order was 0 0.52 dollars but i am given a maximum refund of 1.65 dollars so why why will i refuse money they are the ones who are offering it so you just accept but sometimes it will be lower than what you it will be lower than what you ordered because maybe I ordered it I ordered it for 0 0.52 dollars and my refund may be 0 0.49 dollars just accept the maximum because there is nothing you can do after that you need supporting information now here you, you can write a composition let me tell you just write write everything write everything so here maybe I can say because it's a ball I say the ball 
let me confirm if I'm recording, I'm recording. The ball received was punctured. Punctured one dikwaji. Punctured. Yeah, punctured. Then here you need to include pictures or you can include a video. Then after that you submit. After you submit, let me show you how it look because I will not submit because my item is still being delivered. So this is how it will look. So here it says waiting for the seller's response. And the seller has a deadline of March 23rd. It is written below waiting for the seller's response. Request submitted awaiting seller's response before March 23rd. So between today and March 23rd, you need to keep on going to, you need to just follow the same process. You go to where your order is, then it will now be written request in progress since you have already submitted the dispute. Then you just press there. Then you see if your seller has given your feedback. The seller may accept and just say, okay, you will receive your amount within some days. And some sellers may refuse to give you the amount. So there will be an, an option to accept and reject. If what the seller is telling you does not fit what you want, just reject and AliExpress will come in. And if the evidence is in your favor, they will favor you. So that's just basically it. What I can just tell you to make sure is keep on going back to the dispute area. Because for example, the seller might respond in five minutes. Then you are given a deadline of five days to this to accept or reject. If five days end and you have not accepted or rejected, what the seller wrote is what will be given to you. So maybe the sell, you order the item for $1.2, the seller will have said they will refund $0.5 and it's a loss on your side. So, yeah, so I hope you have understood. I've tried my best to explain. I will leave a link down below for the previous video to help you understand better. And something that I said in my last video, I have a discount. Register. Register. Create a new account, which in AliExpress is registering through the link that will be down below. And you get up to 700 shillings of your first order. That's a good thing. So let's not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!